I'm not really sure what to expect with this Fox News segment, but all signs point to this being an absolute banger here based on the title. Mom dresses as a cat to combat woke schools. That'll show them. Got them. What's that? Your school is trying to uh, indoctrinate children and make them woke? I'll dress up as a cat. Libs own. I, I don't even know what to say about this, but I saw some screenshots of this segment here, and then uh, Fox News posted it to their YouTube channel. So let's watch and see if this mom who dressed as a cat was able to defeat the woke menace. Just before we dive in, we should take some guesses. Like maybe I should formulate a bingo card and try to anticipate what she's going to say. Oh, well, I'm dressed up as a cat. So see, I can't identify as a cat. So why should a boy be allowed to identify as a girl? So there's going to be that, I'm assuming. Um, there's going to be... What buzzwords can we anticipate, folks? I'm assuming we're going to get groomer at least once. I'd be shocked if we didn't. We're going to get indoctrination. I don't know how many wokes there's going to be. If we had to take a shot every time they said the word woke, we'd be dead from alcohol poisoning but um let's just let me shut up and let's watch these officials put kids lives in danger to protect what exactly we don't know any kid in those schools could tell you that men and women are not the same just like they could tell you this cat lady isn't a cat i am a cat meow meow <laughs> I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious, uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? <laughs> Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious, how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I'm trying not to pause it already. 30 seconds in, but already this lady is like trying to take a selfie, I'm assuming, of this dumbass who's <laughs> dressed as a cat. <laughs> She could have made this point without the ghetto, but I do respect, um, you know, how theatric she is here. You know, that takes effort. It's a little bit commendable. No one. You are right. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. One look at me and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. <laughs> what? Lindsey Graham, the cat lady oh, herself and host of the Patriot <laughs> forgot Bondi she was podcast. here joins me now so Lindsay, what she and she's back in the cat get up god folks this is i just want to remind you all this is fox news this is a serious news network and they saw the cat lady and they're like let's bring her on immediately you know this woman uh, and cat. excuse me as i transition from woman to cat i must insist on being referred to as a cat jesus christ fox news actually happening at this school district that made you have to dress up as a cat yeah good question to prove your point whoa, 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 wait. first of all jesse I'd is like it litter boxes in the restrooms is that where this stems from like i wonder i hope she says that because I i'm just trying to check all the boxes trying to hit the bingo right you to not miss a species be i'd like to be addressed <laughs> as a cat for the entirety of this video of course <laughs> got um uh, so trans people owned my Thank you. Thank you. Just inclusivity is all I ask, you know. Um, this was a local school um, in my neighborhood where there was a member of the school board whose name is Paul Bixler. He is a man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. How am I just re realizing this? Because Winston pointed this out. Her name is Lindsey Graham. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Lindsey Graham. As if this couldn't get even more preposterous. Thank you for pointing that out, Winston. You know, I've got to say, she's definitely more alpha and masculine than Lindsey Graham. So, um, there's that. ...a man, and the only thing he does to identify as a female is put lipstick on, uh, he grew his hair out a little bit, and he wears his deceased wife's clothing to school, uh, to a sporting events, to fundraisers, to school events in front of the children, and believe it or not, he actually demands on being identified one of two ways, either Paul, which is a man's name, of course, or Miss Bixler. So it's very clear that he has a gender identity crisis and not... It doesn't seem like he has a crisis. It seems like he's pretty confident in who he is or who she is. I don't know what their pronouns are. Uh, she didn't specify that, and I'm sure that she won't specify that because she's not going to respect them. But I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out why do you give a shit, lady? So, in this school, they are allowing 
a trans person, wait for it, to exist. That's the controversy. Panic. Sound the alarm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's literally all that this is about. I thought that, like, it was based on a school, or it would be based on a school policy, or a gay person was in the presence of a child or had, like, a little rainbow pin on. But no, just trans person in school. Trans person bad. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, but... This is some snowflake shit right here. She was so triggered by the existence of a trans teacher that she had to put on a cat suit just to make a dumbass point and then go on Fox News. Lady, let me just explain this to you with peace and love. You need a hobby. You really need a hobby. Might I recommend video games? Might I recommend crocheting? Might I recommend a sport? Just, you need to find something more productive to be doing with your time because... This right here, it just tells me that you have too much time on your hands. Why would you be outraged by this? As outraged as you are by a trans person just existing, I'm not as outraged as you dressing up as a cat. I find it amusing. Uh, this lady, she needs a life. Holy shit. Only does he appear in front of the children and insist that the children, you know, define him as a woman. But he sits on the board and he's making decisions for these children. And the point that I was trying to make as a cat was that, I mean, obviously, you can't just identify as whatever you want, and you can't demand that other people identify you as whatever you want. We're talking about a new type of indoctrination, and that's what's really terrifying, is seeing these people in charge of our kids' education. Yeah, if he has to grieve over his dead wife, he can grieve privately, but wearing his deceased wife's dress and putting on lipstick and growing your hair out and insisting you're a woman in front of, what grade is this, precisely? This. This is elementary school. So these are young, vulnerable minds. And the teachers, the rest of the school board are identifying him as Mix while he's talking in just the deepest manly voice that he was born with. And so to see these, these parents and these adults take no responsibility for the education of these kids and to teach them true right and wrong and true biology. Okay, okay, let me just, she's effectively calling for this teacher to be fired literally just because they're trans no other reason just straight up discrimination straight up bigotry i mean jesus christ she's so brazen and fox news is so craven that they brought this lunatic on their show as if she's making a legitimate point who cares do you think that the elementary school students when they see this teacher their heads are going to burst immediately i mean kids don't give a shit Kids aren't thinking about these things. Let the teachers be who they want to be. She doesn't even care whether or not this teacher is qualified or what this teacher's, um, you know, a curriculum is. She has no idea what that is. She just sees trans person and trans person bad. And this trans person doesn't pass. Therefore, bad, fire them. I mean, you're just discriminatory. You can't do that. Very, very unhinged and stupid. Oh, she also hosts the Patriot Barbie. So odds are... This is just her doing a publicity stunt for her podcast. Everyone has a podcast nowadays. Even Ted Cruz has a podcast. Folks, can we limit the number of podcasts? I say that as somebody who, of course, hosts a podcast. But let's stop. I host two podcasts, actually, now with the leftist mafia. But let's, let's, let's not have as many podcasts. Truth, facts, and science, and truths. Um, mm. and What's your stance on vaccines? Whenever they say that, I have to ask. And I'm, like, pausing it every... 0.5 seconds but i there's so much wrong with what what she has to say it's hard to restrain myself and not push back against every single fucking word that this ghoul says it's just so alarming that we have this in the school system real quick have this you... trans person in the school system Lindsay, you really need to get a fucking life lady go get a hobby because you sound like a fucking fool who did this at this hearing did people understand how did they react uh, this is a great story, actually. The next day at the gym, I saw one of the members of the school board, and he looked at me a little odd. I said, I'm sure you don't want to remember who I am. And he said, the cat. <laughs> and I thought he would proceed to chew me out. And he said, you know what? Thank you so much for getting up there and saying what you said. Thank you for being bold enough to speak truth. I've been fighting this agenda. I've been fighting this teacher and this school board member. There are people, there are people on our side and all it takes is just a few of us to stand up and speak truth and find those partners in crime, if you will, 
and then we really can unite together and fight back against this and save our children. What kind of exercises? And then after uh, he said that to her at the gym, everyone around started to clap. That definitely happened. What does a cat do at the gym? Oh, you know, gosh, there's got to be something zingy I can say here. <laughs> Lots of squats. <laughs> uh, lit litter box press, kitty, kitty nip presses, you know. <laughs> Cut it off. Meow, meow. Thank you very much, Lindsey yeah, Graham. Meow, indeed. Not the senator. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey. So, okay, just <laughs> to recap, this lady dressed up as a cat because she's outraged that a trans person works at the school. Let's go back to my bingo at the beginning of the segment here. I expected her to say groomer. I don't think that she said groomer. Um, you know what I should have guessed, even though it still would have been wrong, but I should have uh, guessed that she would have said something like, my pronouns are meow, meow, or something like that. But she didn't say that. Missed opportunity because that's like the hot joke right now. It used to be the one joke that conservatives had was, I identify as an Apache attack helicopter or I identify as blank. But over the years, um, their joke, the one joke that they have, has shifted. And now it is, um, my pronouns are blank and blank. So the fact that she didn't work that in there, in my opinion, is a missed opportunity. Either way, people need to just stop being busybodies. I, I think that people need to learn how to mind their own business and stop getting so offended with everything that you see. It's really that simple. If you just say, look, I don't understand trans people. I don't get it, but I don't think they should be discriminated against. I'm just ignorant. That's that's one thing. But this lady is literally saying the existence of a trans person working in a school is outrageous to me so much so that I'm not only going to show up and protest at the school board meeting dressed as a cat to prove how serious I am, but I'm then going to go on Fox News to bitch about it. Shut the fuck up, you absolute snowflake. Holy shit, these people are insufferable. I swear to God. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.